to what you were saying is you, you can look at Joe as a pure example. Um, you've known him since a long time ago mm. and he was a skinny boy as a child. Kind of skinny fat actually. <laughs> yeah. about the pictures back in the days. Then he started running a little bit and then he became more of a skinny rather than skinny fat. But he was a little bit of a chubby boy, maybe? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll get it depends. So, okay, he was skinny, not skinny fat. Let's say that. Skinny. Very skinny. Very skinny. He, he was skinny, very, he says. Very skinny. Um, and then, you know, he changed the way he was eating and he changed the way he was training. So even if you look at the last, what, year, year and a half, two years, he has changed massively just by introducing carbohydrates to his diet when he was avoiding them before because, because he thought that they're going to make him fat and they have actually helped him put on a lot of muscle along with the hard training that he is doing. So there isn't a specific foods that I always say, oh, this is evil or this is great. Um, so you're saying that you're probably eating like pizzas and pastas. And if you ask Joe, Joe loves pasta and eats yeah. lots of it. But there are certain times and there are certain occasions where things are good and things are bad. Yeah. Okay. And there is the introduction of things along the way as well. So carbohydrates, let's say, can be for someone like you, I think they're brilliant and they're, they're a must because you are a person with a high metabolic rate, which is great. There are people who are putting on fats with 1,500 calories a day even, um, or 2,000 calories a day, and you will be someone who will be storming through a lot more calories than that and mm. getting leaner. But calories and calories, I really want to, like this is so important, there is calories and calories, where they're coming from. So we're talking about calories from crisps, Okay, and the way they're gonna affect your body is completely different than having a, I like to call it a complete meal. I, mm. I love talking about a complete meal. It's kind of like, um, basically, the best advice I can give as a basic advice is always think complete meal. You have protein, carbohydrates, fats, and fiber. Very, very important. And you can find fiber in things like loads of vegetables. Um, they're great for it. And additional to that, things like oats and legumes, like beans and lentils. And yeah, sorry, I thought, jo so I thought Joe, you'd put your hand up then oh. for a, <laughs> he's just doing stretching it's in the background. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so thinking about a complete meal means that your body will respond in the kind of um, a normal way of slow absorption yeah. to your body. It's going to give all the nutrients that you're going to need. Um, and having the high amount of protein that is very important it's going to help to build the muscle mm. and if you go and have you think about pizza and pasta so if you, if you look at it it's all not so great because it's lacking some of the things I'm talking about yeah vegetables rarely you can find a huge amount of vegetables in pizza and pasta yeah, and yeah very they're rarely trying to excuse themselves <laughs> with the tomato sauce being the vegetable sauce <laughs> one, let's be real and just throwing a few <laughs> little little bits and pieces on the top no yeah. I, I can see that yeah. yeah so not really vegetable source uh, when it comes to fiber quite low in fiber generally um and most of the time low in protein sometimes you can get pasta bolognese for example or put lots of like the meat feast mm. that's probably having a protein, but the amount of calories you're going to go along with that is, is quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so again, where the calories are coming from is very, very important. And having that regular intake of protein is going to be another thing that's going to make a difference for you. And it's something that you haven't really done in the past as much is actually thinking about the complete meals, taking it regularly in because it's going to look after your body in a very different way. It's going to provide the nutrient that you're going to need for the body to actually build upon something. Mm. So what your body has been doing is in a coping mechanism. Um, you have eaten some days a lot of calories, some days not. But the, where the calories have come from have been beneficial to come to your body composition, yeah. which is we're not looking at just weight. So your question was what kind of weight you're looking to, um, to achieve. Well, in a 12-week period, I usually recommend as a target, when it comes to fat loss, okay, you'll be looking to lose um, probably a pound a week, okay, but you want to gain muscle at the same time, and yeah. for you that would be possible, because you haven't really done that kind of training before. Mm. Um, the resistant training and weight training that you're doing now is not 
something that you incorporate. For someone who is experienced and have done a lot of that, I'm gonna be like, forget about it. You're not gonna put on muscle and lose fat at the same time. But um, for you, so-called beginner, uh, it is the golden thing you can, you can actually Yeah, well, it sounds like it makes it more exciting then, really, you know. Um, yeah, you can change yeah. your body composition a lot. So if you look at the scale, it might not change much. And that's gonna be like, oh wow, he weighs the same or a couple of kilos extra. Yeah. But at the same time, look at the body change. And that's what we are aiming at, just yeah. changing your body. I can give an example with myself. Like four years ago, I was weighing about the same I'm weighing now. And there is a massive difference of how my body looked and the clothes I'm fitting in now versus the clothes I'm fitting in and the beach body. Kind yeah. Of well, that, yeah. I, think, I think that's kind of part of the goal as well. Because like, in fact, the time that I'm doing this video, guys, in about three months time, it will be uh, July. July, yep. Uh, so it, it will mean that, you know, summer should be here and, and yeah, it, it would be nice to kind of have have that, that kind of beach body. And I've always been kind of self-conscious about my body. Anyway, again, with me, with where I was, like, quite underweight. And okay, I've got the weight that I'm, I'm somewhat happy with now. You know, it's just kind of fat in all the wrong places. So to kind of still be maybe the same build, but you know, or same weight, but a hell of a lot more muscly, or actually have the right kind of muscle uh, would be fantastic. And, uh, and in fact, it's also worth mentioning, guys, that um, when I actually had my session with Joe or my interview with Joe, uh, he actually did a few tests sort of on my body um, and uh, it worked out, was it, is it the, the BMI, is it? That was, or my body fat was, was 22%, which, you know, is, for me, is, is quite high. So, you know, what, what, would, what would then be kind of like the ideal number that, that would be after the, the 12 weeks? I would say 12, and it's quite, quite realistic. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's quite realistic to go down to 12. And 12% for a guy, you can see a defini quite a good definition of your abdominals. It's not going to be like the ripped kind yeah, of guy. Yeah, well, that, that, that would be like nice. Just, just having eight, abs will nine, be wonderful, you know. You will be able <laughs> to see yeah, your abdominal muscles. So you'll have the beach body at around 11, 12%. And for you have allowed yourself enough time of like now 11 weeks left. Um, we, in that's completely achievable with hitting your targets when it comes to your nutrition as well as, well, Joe's snatching you over here on the gym floor. Should oh, Joe, Joe's been practically ruining me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I, cause it's interesting because, uh, in, in, I mean, I, I can't remember if, if I'd even told you or not, but I'd also done a 30 day and a 60 day challenge. Uh, the 30 day was with a personal trainer and a 60 day was where I bought the Insanity DVD set uh, and, and I worked through that for like the two months. And uh, yeah, well, well, the thing with, with them is, yeah, they, they both kind of, well, having a personal trainer absolutely made a massive, massive difference because he also gave me some nutrition advice as well. Doing the 60 days, I didn't really, as much as my cardio was improved tremendously, like I wasn't really toned, you know, I didn't really look much more different than I am now. Only difference was is that I could, if someone said, oh, go run five miles or something, I could just go do it. Yeah. You know, um, 